oil change in the gearbox on a Peugeot 308 in a T9 body with a 1.6 HDI engine with 120 horsepower. Here the situation is as follows. On the our helmet majority of cars, it is recommended not to change the oil at all. That say it is filled in for the entire life of the car. Naturally, this period is neither in kilometers not in years, and no one indicated anywhere. Repairman at the service station, who's who sort out these boxes, if you deduce the average figure, recommended change the oil one time in 60,000 kilometers. This is so to speak from the experience of the past years. Whether their statement is true or not, I will not say. But in fact, on my old Opel, I changed the oil in the box myself two times. And the bottom line is that after the next replacement, the color of this oil, well, to pull it midly is not like the new one. From which I conclude that there is a sense in periodic oil change. But to be completely honest with you, on my previous car, also an Opel, I also changed the oil in the box at a millage of about 210,000. And what was my surprise was the oil really looked like from the factory. No sediment, no turbidity, nothing at all. Although it is very unlikely that it was changed before me. Let's go directly to the oil change. First, we will need a pit or a lift. Secondly, you need to decide on the model of the gearbox. On 1.6 HDI diesel engines with a power of 120 horses. Personally, after rewriting a lot of informations and reviewing a bunch of articles on the drive, I saw only one modification of the gearbox. Model ML6C with cooling fins of the gearbox crankcase. In nature, there is a variant of the same box without cooling fins. Once again, this is what a gearbox with crankcase cooling fins looks like, but without cooling fins. The absolute majority of cars with cooling fins. Why do I focus on this particular attention? Because the volume of oil that will need to be poured is also different. If there are cooling fins, then you will need to pour 1.9 liters of oil. If there are no ribs then 2.6 liters. We have decided on this. Let's go directly to the replacement itself. The first things we need to do is drain the oiled oil. For this we need to unscrew the drain plug. And here everything is bold simple. In fact, is that there is a hole in the cork for a square width, a side of 8 millimeters. And this is the first problem. There are usually no square nozzles in the toolkit. The second point is that the distance to the drain plug is very limited. As you can see a standard large wretched with a standard head doesn't fit. Some do something like that. And unscrew the cork. I went the other way. I took a bolt of 12 diameter and began to grind it with a grinder until I actually go to the covered square of 8 millimeters. I made a long bolt and very soon realized that I was wrong. It does not fit. We need a short one. Redone. As a result, you should get something like this. And only now you can unscrew the drain plug. In order not to pour oil all around, I recommend doing something similar. Well, actually drain the oil. And so that skeptics have a few questions. There is what the oil in the gearbox looks like, which no one was ever changed. As I understand, it was most likely filled from the factory. I don't even want to comment on anything here. So think for yourself to change it once of 60,000 or not. Next, how to pour new oil. When the oil merges, we install the plug in the place and do not forget to replace the copper O-ring. I bought this. In general, the company is absolutely not important. The main thing is its size. This ring is worth a penny at all. Also pay attention to the cork itself. There is a magnet there and a metal chips are magnetized to it. And it can be used to roughly judge the condition of the box. I repeat, approximately. Everything is far from perfect here. But the millage is also not 50,000. Let's move on. We open the hood. We are interested in this area. We find a gearbox here. Specifically a black plastic brazier. We need to remove it. For this, we only need hands, just pull on ourselves, but twisting slightly. It is removed easily. It is fixed with such plastic latches. You will have no problem with the brazier. Next, 
you need to find some kind of this hose and preferably a watering can with a hose. The diameter of the hole into the which we will pour oil is 30.9 mm. I had a canister like this in the garage from the transmission oil already with a built-in hose and used it, only slightly cut. Next, insert the hose and a funnel into the hole, into where you took out the brazen, and slowly, slowly pour the oil. As I have already said, either 1.9 or 2.6 liters. What kind of oil should I pour? I bought what Peugeot itself recommends specifically for this box, namely Total Traction Gear 75W80. The canister looked different, but at the sales explained to me now, the canisters are like this. Well, after you pour the oil, do not forget to put the brazier back on. What has changed for me after the replacement the oil? To be honest, nothing. It feels like uh, it was. But the only moment. I understand what was filled in the box. And I understand that I definitely did not to was something like that. For today, it's all. Subscribe to the channel. Bye.